Oh, here we go again. So I'm going to play this little clip of my Yugno. Do you notice that every video that my Yugno talk about, he asking about money. And he always tell me, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Like, bro, my Yugno, come on, bro. You ha Y'all have turned the whole YouTube platform into talk about how much gifts y'all get and donations and thank y'all. Thank y'all for all this materialistic stuff, bro. Listen, crowd, listen to this guy. Why can't he do a video just talking about what he doing? Why he got to keep mentioning? Then he, here he goes saying he don't have no money again. Bro, why don't you have any money, bro? I thought you're the one that's top mason and you built Marwa big old villa. Bro, I know you did not build that month, that villa for free, bro. Are, are you? Come on now. No way, bro. Are you on something? Did you build that villa for free? How have you said on this video? This man taught me sometime he, he don't have no money to eat. Oh my God, another scam. See, bro, you praying on the crowd with a bunch of game and mind manipulation. But I want to say this to you, my new you know. I hope Mar will pay you, bro. Because if Mar didn't pay you for all that work you was doing for all them days, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, little bro. You ought to be ashamed of yourself to let Mar will play you like you some bum or something. That he not going to pay you no money for that work. Something ain't right. But listen to this, y'all, and let's go from here. For me, I'm on the ground. Me, before me, I'm on the underground, teaching me too much. I'm living to the homes. My brother's here. So before me, I'm children, the town. Sometimes me, before I'm a street boy, you know. So I'm living. My brother's here. Sometimes I'm going to living to eat. We teach me, my son. So today and me, I don't forget my brother. I don't forget my brother. So I call my brother and welcome to, I give you job to my side, you know. So sometimes you fight together with the, with the, with your friends, you know, before. Don't forget your friend, imagine. Don't forget your friend. Sometimes help us a friend like this. We come already, they enjoy together with you. So, you know, we enjoy together with you before you are, underground already god is bless you you are forget to, uh, your friend no don't do, do, god is don't my like like this so and me today i come here with my brothers here we come to building house together you with me today and me i'm going to the work let's go together with you you're going to show them anything like german like boom le <laughs> Guys, I love you so much. Ready, make me happy every day. Make me happy every day, every day. Today I build a house here in the, my land. You know, so sometimes it's hard. It's hard, you know. So you go in town, people you give you challenge. You move money, what? You know, say to me, I, people you don't understand me. I'm <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, the border. They say people, me, I'm working Kenya to the the site I'm, I'm building a house Kenya big house so my boss is <laughs> he's done so every day he give me money to come eat good so people you see me every day I don't go into the work in the building house is he, going to the muscle give me challenge my you know you are doing what I, I say but I'm doing I'm I'm doing work in the Kenya you know so and me, I thank God, I thank my fans, I thank every people for supporting me. Forgive me, forgive me anything to, uh, in my life. You make me happy, you make happy for my family. Is it eat good, is it sleep good, you know? So before me, sometimes I, I, I don't have money to eat, you know? So today I'm eat good, I'm sleep good, guys, imagine. I'm watch TV in the, my house. Today, my Yugno is watch TV. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes it's crazy. I, I'm smile. I'm forgetful before my life. Sometimes I smile. Sometimes I'm crying. So, don't worry. My life is <coughs> like this. It's going like this. You know, sometimes you, you are, you are, you move. Life is hard. Back before, you forget before, you come here. Ah, Say God, already God is good. God is good every time. So me, I don't use anything to come here. 
already I use my talented, I use my energy, you know, I use my discipline, I use and my boss Marwa to give me advice. So to see people like Marwa to help us people like this is not around. Actually in Africa here, no around. So me, I thanks my boss Marwa. I give thank, big thanks for supporting me. I don't understand people you tell what for me. I focus my life every day. My boss gave me advice. My, you know, don't, 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 uh, don't focus to the people you tell what your life. Make sure you focus in the life, focus in the anything for you. Give All right, man. So listen to me real good. And I want y'all to understand something about me. I was always a wise individual. And this is the part of me that's going to start coming out where I'm going to start dissecting situations and showing y'all what time it is. Now, I want y'all to follow me. And y'all might have to go back to some of my other videos and see where I was coming from. Because this is the problem. I told people about what Davy Jr. was doing. I could have tell with his voice how he was coming and scamming people. You know, I could even tell the pastors, the ones that so-called pretend they prophets and, and pray on the crowd in the churches and... And see that the Holy Ghost say this and the Holy Ghost say that and they're lying. They're pretending to the people promising they're going to get houses, cars, just to manipulate people out their money. But let me continue with the subject. And where we going at with this. Y'all go through some of my videos and I was enlightening y'all on one of my videos that that house was not my Yugno house, right? Now, I'm going to go into this video and listen what Mara was said. Mataka advice poor before he starts an agenda nyumba bedroom gapi. Oh, so he's talking about my you know, my top person who actually very uh, we opened his YouTube channel around January this year and now he's monetized and he was able to buy land. And actually, as we speak, he's working on building his house, constructing his dream house. Actually, I told him to not start building his house probably until I arrive home in maybe the next five months. Because the reason to that is, uh, you know, he's excited. Yes, he's excited to be a landowner and everything. But also he needs uh, good advice. And uh, maybe for him, maybe for now, his dream is like this. But maybe when I'm around him, his dream will be so big. He will see bigger things. He will see like, oh man, I could actually, I'm thinking of, of him building a mini villa, you know, mini villa, mini villa. And I think it's very possible. So thank you so much. And I told him, even if he, you know, he has the excitement, man, I want to build, oh, I'm ready, this is my land. I told him, look, you can actually start building with, start constructing a wall, do something like walls, because things like walls, they can't affect you. But you don't start building a house so quickly with no concrete plan, then you reach in the middle, maybe money is over. And even another thing I told him is what he can do right now, is put construction material in, in, in the land, you know, more sand, more concrete, uh, things like that, you know, stones. Uh, he can buy also metal bars and store them in my villa as, 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 as he waits. Because in the next five months, if he prepares all construction materials ready, when it comes to building, it's just like, boom, gone. Okay, thank you. Okay, now y'all hear what Marwa said about the house, right? <laughs> Bro, if that's my Yugno house, and my Yugno is such a top mason the way he talk, and he got so much skills the way he talk, why can't he do his own house? You want to know why he can't do his own house? Because just like I told you from the beginning, that's not my Yugno house. You need to wait till Marwa get back in town to finish off the house. Let me tell you why. Because knowing my Yugno, just by telling my Yugno personality, my Yugno might be a mason, but my Yugno is more of the mason that sits under the tree. Let me tell you what kind of mason that is. He got skills, but he liked the liquor bottle. He got skills, but he might like to eat that cat, that cat, that leaf all day. So he don't have his life really together. He is more of the, the village boy who just could do some good work. And people like Marwa use people like that and take advantage of people like that because they do stuff for free. In America, it's almost like they got people called crackheads out here. They got people called drunkies and you could pay them pennies on the dollars to do a lot of work for them for the low low. You see what I'm saying? 
So that's what my you know is. Because how I could tell is how he act over mama. My boss, my boss. Oh, I love my boss, my boss. That shows you right there his personality. That shows you how much how he worshiped this man like a god. Now, let me tell you somebody who was on a different level, and he don't think like that. He is not the, the, the carpenter. He is not the mason that sits under the tree. Fellow the boy. You notice that fellow the boy, he never worshipped the ground Marwa was on. He could have cared less. Because fellow the boy had good intentions to do the right thing in the village. Fellow the boy wanted to get donation money and help out people in the village. But a person like that, Ma will go against. Because Ma was jealous and envy of the success that the people are demonstrating to put money in fellow the boy pocket. For him to do the project. So Marwa called him a scammer. Because Marwa was jealous that how could fellow the boy. The boy that not worshiping the ground I'm on. The boy that's not calling me my boss. My boss. I love my boss. My boss this. My my, my father. My my my. Because fellow the boy is not that kind of person. Fellow the boy intentions was to do the right thing. That's why fellow the boy had no, no problem being transparent with the receipt. Now, I want y'all to follow me. The ones who not be transparent with the receipt is mar with them. Why not? Why not? Because they're the biggest scammers in the village. They can't be transparent. And let me tell you something. The whole thing stemmed down to what we taught with Jamaican Jam Tours. If you do it to a person one time, you do it plenty times. It doesn't matter. That's your personality you carry. So everything is exposing and everything is coming to the light now. I want y'all to really think about what's going on in that village. Come on, man. Y'all don't be a fool now. Don't be a fool. Recognize what's happening here. I told y'all my Yugno could have been speak good English. If he a pretend to the audience like he's some guy that only could have speak Swahili and he catch on the English that fast, that's a bold-faced lie, bro. I read between the lines. Because I was traveling countries for years and still trying to learn my Spanish. How in the hell this man going to come in a couple months to speak English fru 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 um, freq frequently? You know what I'm saying? Speak English with no problem. That's a lie, bro. Use your common sense, people. Use your common sense because he been new English, okay? I'm not no slow leak. And if it's taking me a while to catch on, no way this man could catch on this fast unless he already know. And he was pretending the whole time he didn't know. It was just a way to manipulate the audience. It's, it's, a, it's a game. It's a tactic. That's the master class. That's a part of Marvel master class. The master scam class. The master pretending to people class. The master being this type of actor as a Swahili boy that learned English so much. But read between the lines. Why would Marvel say wait until I come back home? Because you know he can't put the project right. Because my, you're gonna probably gonna go in the house. He gonna get drunk. He gonna wild out. Cause you know he not capable of doing the right thing. And you don't want my, you know, to mess up what you got going on. Ma will tell the truth, bro. I know that's what you're doing. It's all a game. But you try to use your puppet to, to sit there and manipulate the crowd with these games and these lies, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it. We on it, bro. We on it, and we watching you. Scraider, we watching my Yugno, we watching Davy Jr., we watching everybody in the village. Because you know for a fact that y'all come with manipulation tactics. And the reason why y'all want our channels canceled is because of the fact that we're sitting and exposing what you're doing to people. It's not right. Stop pretending to the audience things that's not real. Just to try to manipulate money out their pocket. Bro, stop it, bro. We can see right through the games. Well, they can't see, but I can see right through it. You see what I'm saying? Just like I told them about Davy Jr. I was telling them, yo, listen, don't let that voice fool you. It's a game. It's a game. And any donators that know they to them, let me tell you something. You could come and see you could donate all day long. Y'all playing yourself like some fools. But only thing I ask y'all to do. If y'all donating to this family, man, make sure y'all taking care of home first too now. Don't sit there and clean up a stranger doorstep, but don't even clean your own doorstep. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you because there's too much people in the world that'll support outsiders, but leave their own people hanging. There's too many people in the world doing that, and that is not right. So make sure y'all taking care of home first before you take care of somebody else's home. 
Because I'll be damned if I'm going to take care of anybody else's home that's all out to scam me anyway. That won't be right. I'm sitting in neglecting my family at home, putting them on the back burner for a bunch of people that's scamming me. Bro, that's crazy. And But that's the world we live in. So that goes out to anybody out there. Who sitting believing this family so much? Go ahead, believe in them. Go ahead, believe in them. Continue to let them manipulate you. Continue to let them play you. But let me tell you something. They're just scamming you. This, when it's all said and done, just like Ma will keep on talking, he having this big old party. Marwa, nobody cares about no big party over there, bro. And anybody that's come there like, bro, like, what's so good about your big party? See, that's your problem now. You feel people are going to be so happy to be wrong, Marwa. That that's how y'all manipulating people. Y'all using this stuff, big party, and I'm going to invite all y'all back. It's all manipulating scams. You know what, audience? Test them. Stop donating money to them and watch what they do. Stop donating and watch they change up on you. This real talk now. Something to think about. That's the only thing I'm going to tell y'all, man. Read between the lines and be smart out here. Don't be no fool. Real talk. And I'm going to start speaking on the scam. And every bit I see, I'm going to start speaking on it now. Because I see I have to enlighten the crowd on what's going on. Because a lot of people still don't understand and they are a little confused. So I'm going to start showing y'all the timeline so y'all can start getting on point. That's real talk. Let's keep it going. I got a quick question for you. Are you ready to travel the world? Do you want to see how the locals really live? Let me tell you something. When you go on this tour right here, you need to make sure that you ain't had nothing to eat. Because let me tell you something. I didn't eat so much food today, I can't eat no more. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to see what's good. There's some kind of some meat right here. I think this beaver, man, this beaver. That way they show us this beaver. That's what we just had to eat right there. We had some beaver, man. That's some good meat. Our first time. That's what they call that in y'all country. Beaver, right? Yeah. How y'all had like eating that beaver, man? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, he doesn't do resorts. Come on, let's go off the beaten path. Join Mr. Midas, a.k.a. the King of Travel, today. Come on, let's go. I'm going to tell y'all something. This tour right here is worth every bit of your money on this tour. So, check this out. Let me show you what I had to eat for the first time. That's what I like about these countries. Yo, yeah, what's good, man? Your boy King of Travel, man. You about to tour today. Check out the city, man. I'm going to do a food, food test today, you know what I mean? So, you know, I go to Colombia a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I want to get more in depth of Colombia, you know what I mean? And check out what the real culture about the real food. So, I'm going to take this on a tour today. You're going to see what's good, man. Tune into my channel, Worldwide Travel on the Eat Day. We got the breakfast and stuff. Let's travel. Welcome to Bogota, Colombia. Yeah. Like a beach or a fusion, you can say. So, you yeah, know, the, the center of Yeah. So, I'm really excited to show you different kind of pets. What is this right here called again? Yeah. So, let me actually. They're chica drink, but that's not. No, this is yuca, like fried yuca, cassava yuca. Some, something definitely different. So where, where y'all um, visiting from? I'm from Toronto. Oh, okay, Canada. Yeah. Okay, how about you? I'm from Delaware. Delaware, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm from Charleston area. Oh, yeah. hey, that's awesome. Y'all heard of Charleston before? Yeah, I went, I, I've been to Charleston. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to dig in that? I don't know. Yes, everyone's like, already eating it. Put some of that sauce oh in there. That's good. All right. Amazing. Right, right. You get a taste of this Colombian food. What they call it, Cardi I think so. I'm gonna write this down. Okay, okay. Come back here again. Let me see. Oh wow. Really good. Definitely, definitely. Real good. Midas, the worldwide traveler, also known as the king of travel. His life is like a movie. They think they got you figured out, but they really don't. 
Remember, don't just talk about it, be about it. Remember, don't talk about it, just be about it. Think bigger than your city. Let's travel. Let's travel. Thanks for watching Mr. Midas, the worldwide traveler, aka the king of travel. But hey, stay tuned. The best is yet to come. To be continued.